A Venus flytrap plant can snap its jaws and trap an insect in a fraction of a second. Pitcher plants are also carnivorous, but they don't use a mechanism that's quite as dramatic. As their name implies, they're shaped like pitchers, which are filled with a fluid that can digest insects. Just inside the rim of its mouth, nectar-producing glands lure insects to their doom. But how exactly do the insects get inside the pitcher? Past studies have suggested that a waxy layer on the inner wall causes them to slip inside. But not all species of the plant contain this waxy coating. Researchers from the University of Cambridge observed non-waxy pitcher plants in northwest Borneo. On a dry day, it was hard to witness an ant being captured, as most of them wandered onto the plant's rim and then walked off again. But when they returned after a heavy rainfall, they found that the ants were a lot less lucky. If an ant ventured onto the plant's rim, it would inevitably slip inside. There was also a sharp increase in the number of ants floating inside the pitcher. The researchers found that water forms a thin film as it drips onto the pitcher plant's rim. Since the rim is present in all species, they think that this is their main trapping mechanism. The waxy walls are also useful, but only to help the plants grab a snack on a dry day.